Welcome back to the channel. This is a pretty interesting video I've got for you today. One of the first rules that you learn as you begin painting with encaustic is that acrylic and encaustic do not mix. The reason for that is that acrylic is water-based and encaustic is more oil-based. So it works really well for oil paint, but acrylic is not great. And as I mix the to the tins here of wax, you'll be able to see why. So these are two types of acrylic paint that I've added to these tins. The first is a cheap like dollar type of acrylic paint. And the next is like, is more expensive. It's probably like, I can't remember exactly, like six or eight bucks a bottle, I think. And as I'm stirring it, you can see that it's kind of bubbling up. Like it's not mixing. It's just kind of it's breaking apart and that's what you're seeing turn turning the wax yellow. It's the heat and, and the stirring is kind of breaking apart because it's cheap acrylic paint, but it is not, it's not mixing well with the wax. Now the more expensive, you can see a lot better the effect is because it's not breaking as part apart as easily as the cheap stuff is. And you can see I'm coming away with bits of and pieces of the paint on my brush. It's sticking to my brush. It's not sticking into the wax. It's it's not coloring the wax. It's uh, just breaking into these little pieces that are just not mixing in because it's like trying to mix oil and water. It just doesn't work. And I'm trying to get all those little pieces off my brush. It's like gunking up everything. So this is a great visual of why that rule exists. There are some artists that do work with acrylic and encaustic together. And I am not going to say that, you know, it's not something that you should never, ever do. Because that's what art is, at least for me, is all about experimentation and seeing what boundaries that you can push. But this is the reason why it is not advised to mix encaustic and acrylic paint. This is what it looks like immediately when you mix it. Years down the road, they could peel apart. Um, you get, you might get some more flakiness with your encaustic layers. Uh, who knows? There's, there's probably all kinds of effects that will happen um, 5, 10, 50 years down the road when you mix these two mediums together. I found it really interesting too that the, this yellow, it started bubbling like the moisture was, the heat was sending the moisture up to the surface and it was kind of bubbling there. It's an effect I've never seen before because I've never mixed acrylic with wax before, but I wanted to see, I wanted to get a visual and show you a visual of what this looks like. Now, oil paint, on the other hand, you can mix with encaustic wax. And it is it is a way, a great way that you can, if you don't want to buy your own colored medium, if you want to color it yourself, this is one way that you can do it. Now, it's just, it's just mixing in beautifully. You can see there's no gunkiness. There's no stuff collecting on my brush. I'm going to pull it out and show you a few times. You're just left with this, this pretty blue. Now the thing about mixing oil paint with your wax is you can't use as much as you would like with a dry pigment because the oil paint has oil in it. And if you put enough of the oil into your wax, it will soften it, so it won't it won't uh, cool to be as hard as as encaustic medium should be, and so your painting won't be as durable. So that is something to be aware of if you mix oil paint uh, to color your wax: is don't do very much of it because it's it's going to change the composition of your wax.
hopefully this is kind of a stark visualization for you of how encaustic works with oil paint and does not work with acrylic. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything I forgot to mention. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.